net the cutest. Following daddy. Oh, look, look at them. Those two. They were nuzzling noses. The perfect waterbuck family. Because I'm having fun. Yeah. I think we're just playing. There's no real aggression there, just hippos playing. I know, that's not really kissing. Hippos size each other up with the gape of their mouth, how wide they can open their mouths, and then of course the tusks become the, the, uh, the deciding factors as far as uh, As far as who's the bigger and better.
I think it's Robin in Michigan was asking if I just touched the LED dung to test the temperature. I did indeed. Robin is a nurse. Want to know where my hand wipes are? I didn't bring any. I'll wipe my hands on the grass later. It's deli dung, it's clean. It's not like lion dung or something, it's elephant dung. It's it's just masticated vegetation. I don't know, I wish I had two cameras here because we've got this really great hippo activity, but we've also got some really interesting interaction between the, the this little waterbuck calf and her dad no, no, now it's lying down next to I don't know if it's I don't know if that's mom but the male is behaving like this is a female in estrus and this little one was originally lying next to the other female And then there are the four boys that are prancing around in the courtyard next to the rooms. The rooms. Is Arethusa and is Arethusa far from Juma? No, not really. It's about a ten minute drive at normal speed. Game drive speed can take about half an hour. The bachelor, the water bucket, and no doubt the challenges of this big bull. The four of them there. And taking advantage of the fact that there are no guests in camp. But these are waterbuck that have become quite accustomed to people around them because they live here at the dam. So they're quite comfortable on the lawns until, of course, the lion come and kill them. Often in camps that I've run or in places where I've been where guests haven't been able to come out of their tent or their room because they're lion feeding on a waterbuck on their patio virtually. And these two hip are having an absolute ball. Well, that did, that storm actually has moved very fast and moved very fast north. So I think we're out of the threat at the moment. Strange how fast it actually moved. We're going to see it. We're going to turn around, go look for these alleys. Now to come back this way, we'll see it all from a different angle. With better light, in fact. Now that the sun is just popping out, we can't give up on this opportunity. Sorry children, please don't move. Please don't move. Perfect picture, perfect. see the water buck against that backdrop of dead lead woods. That is a postcard picture. Picture postcard perfect. Like that. Look at that. Well, we should have been here with the Ellies, but the Ellies are gone already. And when they were here, it wasn't this color. That is beautiful. Oh, that is just so amazing. Looks like that storm's moved over to Manileti.
uh, he's chasing this female and the little one doesn't really know where it stands. I've got to show you something that's really, really weird. Those waterbuck bulls have gone underneath that wooden deck. I never thought animals would con get themselves into t such a tight position. Oh, it's getting dark. Wind's blowing, weather's coming in. really strange, really unusual, and so are you Mama Waterbuck? Yeah, she's lactating, I just saw her as she turned, so she is Mom. And maybe, because this little one's a couple of weeks, maybe she's already coming into Easter, so I doubt it though. <laughs> I'm hoping that you're going to stay watching those hippos and maybe these those of you who are watching Arethusa camp we need to move because the long time we've stayed here means those elephants have gone far away thank you Mrs. Waterbuck look after your baby don't let the cats catch it Now that's about the closest we'll ever get to a baby waterbuck. So furry, so fluffy, so. Mm. That little heart shaped nose. I could sit here, but the hippos playing the way they are, and waterbuck doing what they're doing, and this little one could sit here for a long. But thank you, Mr. Waterbuck. Thank you for allowing us this little bit of time with your family. So I guess that just intimidated him too much. It's fine if you drive past, but don't stop. Don't stop and talk to him. Seems he doesn't like that very much.